name is Supraja. I am from Dallas, Texas. Uh, I came here uh, with my two kids for the engineers program. Uh, the thing is, I've been looking for my kids uh, to have a Vedic knowledge and modern education together. And uh, somehow I was not satisfied. I've been a Montessori teacher. I tried, but somehow I was not happy at all. And then we moved to India, tried to see if it is going to work here. But one year in the school, I was not happy. And then I met Swami, uh, Swamiji, and uh, I attended a three months program LBE. And then my kids were here in the Gurukul that time when we were doing the course. And there was very calm and there is no stress and they were so happy. And then after the course, we moved back to US and I put them in the school and uh, my daughter is eight years old, Meghana. My son Vikas is 10 years old. My daughter was totally traveling in the other direction. When she comes back from the school, she has so much tantrum, so much stress, attention need, some kind of anxiety. And I did not know how to help her. I used to offer maybe if I give some advantages like, you know, maybe one hour TV in the weekend or maybe some chocolate, maybe some taking her out, maybe playing together. Somehow I was trying to substitute the attention what she's needing so that she won't go through this anxiety problem and that competition. Like somehow she wants to be the best and it was kind of a struggle and my son had some, you know, he was fine, he's able to adjust but still there was some kind of emotional problem which was difficult to catch it. Then uh, Swamiji said he's doing an engineer's program. Then I just took a chance. My kids asked in the end Kalpataru that they want to come for engineer's program. So Swamiji said he just come and my kids, uh, we came for the engineer's program and I see my son is so quiet now. I feel as if he's somehow matured all of a sudden and he's alive. It's like before he comes to me to give a hug, it's like he's worried about the social conditions where he is and all. Even that hug used to come because he wants attention from me. But now he just comes joyfully wherever I am, gives a hug and just runs. It's like he's just, he's just expressing himself, just that love. I really enjoyed those moments here and my daughter she can't take a responsibility of her own stuff. She just plays any toy, dumps it there. We have all this problem all the time. And then she lost, they gave a Ganesha in the engineer's program. She lost it. She was crying that I lost my Ganesha, I lost my Ganesha. Then I go and ask her, what should we do now? She just said, unclutch. I said, okay, now we unclutched. Then she was still, something was there. She was not eating her breakfast because of that. I said, what should we do? She said, you can ask for one more Ganesha. I said, okay, then what we should do? Should we eat our breakfast? No, I lost my Ganesha, so I won't eat. Then after some time, uh, she lost some more Swami cards. And then the same situation arrived after five days, I think five or six days. Then I said, Megana, what should we do? We lost the Ganesha, now we are losing the cards. This is not working out. Ma, we should be responsible. Then I said, what should we, what should we do? I said, we'll put it in the bag and we'll make sure, I'll make sure I pack it and I close it so that I won't lose it. I don't dump here and there. I said, okay, we both will do it. Make sure we take responsibility. And she started doing it. Next time when she forgot to close the bag, immediately she came back and closed the zip and went. So that is one greatest thing. And if he has a tantrum, Megan and I especially, if she has a tantrum, it takes whole day and all my energy is gone. Whole day she'll be in that cranky mood. But right now she's just coming out. The other day they were doing a program on the children's day, on the 21st day of the last day of the engineer's program. She didn't want to narrate the program. She got the character of narrating the whole story. She didn't want to do it. I said, what should we do, Meghna? This is the character, you got it. I said, I don't want to do it. I don't want to come for the engineer's class. I'm not doing it. I said, okay. Then I went for my volunteer work and in the night, the dinner time, I asked her, what should we do? Ma, it's okay, ma, I figured it out. I'll do it, it's okay, I'm fine. I was just shocked. She is able to, whatever they are teaching in the engineer's program, she's applying it and coming out. That is the most amazing part I see in my kids. And I'm eager and excited to go back to Dallas and see how, how the life is going to be, uh, you know, after engineer's program. And I've seen Ma Advait. I volunteered in the engineer's uh, Envidyalaya for some time. 
and then when Ma Adwait teaches a class, she catches the kid. She just catches the kid and she has to give a breakthrough to that kid if they're having a fear. She'll just call them in front of everybody and what is a fear, why the stage fear is coming from, where it is coming from, what should we do about it, what is happening to our inner space and how should apply the war, uh, apply the uh, you know life solutions and it is just so good most of the kids i can say whoever whoever i saw she's just applying she's just you know cutting them giving them breakthrough chak 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 it's just so spontaneous she never leaves it the minute she saw a kid going through some emotional or some problem she has to catch him and then she has to give him a breakthrough and i've seen other kids just applying as they are living one kid just walks into the woman's dorm and we say, no, no, you can't come here. No, I am not neither a woman or not a man. I am complete. You know, I am half woman, half man. See, the identity, they are coming out of the identity of I am a man, I am a woman, and I am a girl and a boy. This is so awesome. I am just seeing the kids just applying it and living it. And I see there is no stress. Right now, I see my own two kids to say I don't see them any stress. They work from morning 6 to till at least 9 30 10 they work they go through constantly something and they do a lot of yoga and the yoga is also something i really enjoyed here i was trying to teach them yoga back in dallas they just won't do it i don't know how to encourage them so that they would do it every day and here i come we have a yoga teacher ma kavya she just teaches them through story as a story they do it as an animal they do that animal posture they not only know the posture, they know the name of the posture and they are just happy to say the story and they do it themselves. That is amazing. Now I have a you know, way to help my kids to do yoga. I am planning to take uh, Indidya Lai back to Dallas to start not only to my own kids and whoever is interested, I want all of them to have it. It's the right brain exercises what they do in yoga and how they are applying the, uh, whatever Swamiji's teachings in their life and I don't know what else is happening in them but whatever I see right now is the jump I took the chance I took come here all the way it is much much more worth than I could express I really don't know how to say thank you just won't say what I really want to say and I'm just so joy to see my kids you know what I wanted they are Having a, in Envidya Laya, I spoke to Madhvit, they have a modern education along with the right brain activities and ingenious, uh, ingenious program that is a living enlightenment program in it. So both of them together, the kids are going to be, uh, you know, walking towards the spirituality, walking towards becoming the enlightened. And what Swamiji talks about uh, indigo kids, any kid can be an indigo kid. Now I'm... Um, I don't know how what it is like to be an indigo kid and what are all the things they can do but at least I am seeing my kids that they are understanding what is the mean by keeping the inner space calm and neat and clean just being happy just being spontaneous being just a natural being a kid I am seeing in them the way I saw my kids before and just in 21 days what I am seeing is totally in a different direction so I want all the kids to come and experience what my kids are experiencing. And all the moms and the parents, fathers who are going through these problems every day. I know all the parents are going through this. Don't know how to help the kids. Here is a solution. I found it. You try. Thank you.